Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Friday filler time. So seeing as we can't do any fishing videos for a couple of months, let's get into some gear, some tips, some tricks, some techniques, that kind of stuff. I'm going to try and do some stuff over the next six or eight weeks that's going to help you and your fishing. And I'm going to kick it off with maybe the best little gadget I've found in years, and it's this thing. So this thing is called a regulated sport, it's from Scientific Anglers. What this is going to do is make changing fly lines on and off your reels so much better. So what we'll do is we'll dive into the garage, I've got a couple of reels on there with some lines I want to swap over and I'll show you what this thing's all about and just how good this is. I've got, um, got the regulated spool, I've got this reel here and I've got a Trout Express line here which I want to put on this reel. So I will show you how I'm going to use this to do that. Um, this isn't the only way probably heaps of ways and probably better ways too but this is just how I do it it's a combination of laziness and just doing as little as I need to do to get the job done well enough so I'm going to take these apart like this and then you have these two little handle bits which we're going to use later we'll put those to one side and then you've got this I guess this is the bottom piece so I'm going to take my line and I'm going to just put that over there like that pretty simple and then you're going to take the top part here line them up and then I'm going to twist that clockwise. Now to twist that clockwise, these bits will kind of splay out and put tension on that line, which is handy. Then what I'm going to do is undo these pipe cleaner bits and just kind of get them out of the way. Can I show you that okay? Can you see that okay? I think so. Just get them out of the way like that. Same with these ones here. Okay, so then we've got that. And this right here is the running end of the fly line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my loop in my backing and I'm just going to loop to loop that with the welded loop on the running end of my fly line. I hope that made sense. I just put the backing loop through the welded loop and then I'm just going to put that over the top of the fly reel, fly reel of the reel and then loop to loop it like that. I think you can see. Very simple. So then we've got that going on. Pretty cool. Now, like I said, there's gonna be better ways of doing this than what I'm about to show you, but this is just what I do because I'm rather lazy. Screwdriver, pen, pencil, whatever. I'm gonna put that through there like that. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna sit on the floor, put this between my knees and just wind that onto there. This will do, you can see what's going on here. So I'm just going to Take my regulator spool with my screwdriver and I'm just going to put that between my knees just like that. I guess you could put the reel on a rod butt section or whatever but all I ever do is hold it like this, put a bit of tension through my fingers so I can direct where the line's going and how it lays onto the spool and then just wind it on. Boom. Done. Any pipe cleaner bits, you can save these for the next line that you take off and want to store away. Real handy, don't get rid of those. So what I'll do now is uh, I'll take this same line back off this reel, uh, just so I can show you how easy it is to do that in reverse and then store it away. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need obviously my spool, I'm going to need these handle things that I took off earlier. So I've got my two pieces back into place, I've got my handle things. So I'm going to put one in there like this. And the other one, you have two holes. Boom, boom, boom. You're gonna put it in the off center one because when I do that, I can then wind that. See where I'm going with this? So I'm gonna grab a butt section of a rod. Any old butt section of a rod will do. I'm gonna chuck my reel in there and the drag's real loose on this. So the reason I'm gonna do this is because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this between my legs, like so. I'm gonna take these pipe cleaners and we're going to set them in place just like that. Do that with one, and then on opposite side, we'll do that with the other one too. So this is the, like the end of my fly line, obviously. There's a little hole here saying line end. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just gonna place my line through there, like so. I'm just gonna go through this little groove here, back onto the inside of the spool, 
and just wrap it like once, maybe twice, just so it's got some tension, right? Then what I can do is hold it with this little handle here and wind it with this handle here, like so. And then again, I'm just gonna wind that back off the reel onto the spool, and then we can store it away. All right, so there's my backing loop. I'm just gonna take the tension off the loop, just pass that loop over the reel, and we're good to go. Do up those pipe cleaners. Ain't gotta be too flash about it. Then once that's in place, you're just gonna undo it, take it off, and you can just store that wherever you want, however you want, nice and uh, nice and tidy, nice and clean. This thing is brilliant. No tangles, no messes, no big balls of fly line making you angry. Genius. There you have it. Fun fly line on and off the reel without a tangle, without any anger, without any rage. Real easy, real quick. I mean, even if you don't use scientific anglers lines, which you should be, to be honest, because come on, what are you, what are you doing? They're the best lines out there. Just buy yourself one of these because it makes life so much easier. And they're like 20 bucks or something, like US. So, you know, whatever they cost, it doesn't matter because they're worth it. Put the right hand things back in there so you don't lose them. Chuck that in there. If you go on a trip, you go on traveling, just take it with you everywhere you go because it makes life so much easier. I haven't really have much else to say apart from these things are really good. Um, you should go get one. Great to see you guys here. I'll try and put a couple more of these sorts of things out over the next couple of months just to give you guys something to watch. Massive shout out to everyone that's messaged me and emailed me and DM'd me after I posted that last video. Um, just really wasn't quite expecting the response that I got. So yeah, that's super humbling. Appreciate you all. Extra thank you to those of you that have jumped on my Patreon to help me out through winter, that kind of stuff. You guys, you guys rock. Just give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have a great weekend. See you in the next one. Peace.